Tonight, Lover's Point remains closed after a paddleboarder's close encounter with a shark yesterday. We're hearing from that paddleboarder who says he and his dog are just fine and ready to get back out on the water. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Bill Aldridge. David Stickler is relaxing tonight after a frightening experience on the ocean at Lover's Point on Wednesday. Around noon, a shark popped out of the water and took a chunk out of his board. KION's Ronick Macias shares his story tonight. David tells me that he lives out here in Pacific Grove and he's comfortable out in the water. He was out yesterday with his dog Brutus because it was another beautiful day. And while he was out in the ocean, he was hoping to see whales, dolphins. He suddenly noticed that the birds were not flying in their normal linear pattern. And that's when he noticed a shadow. It didn't startle me until it like slammed up into the board, it hit the edge of the board. David Stickler has been paddle boarding for the past three years in Pacific Grove, going way out in the distance, he says, and he's actually looking for wildlife. And with the warmer weather, he's now learned there's the risk of sharks. On Wednesday, he became the second person this summer to have a close encounter with a shark at Lover's Point. I don't think it was like trying to hit the board. It was trying to like come up towards the head of what would have been the seal or a sea lion or something the front of the board. And that's when it bit on. It grabbed the front of the board here. So that's where it grabbed the front of the board and it grabbed on right here first and then it regripped, grabbed on closer and by that point um, it was just out of arm's reach. I couldn't, I couldn't punch it or anything. Stickler remembers what felt like a second passing by when the shark's tail likely slammed against the board, tossing him and his German shepherd Brutus off. I just immediately went into What's the first step? Get the board over. Second step, get on the board. Third step, get my dog. Um, not much time to be like, where's the shark? What's happening? And like the first shark attack six weeks ago at Lover's Point, there were people at the ready to help. David says he waved them over and he felt safer going to grab his paddle. Then he noticed people on the boat that came to help literally were praying for him. It's something he will now never forget. Yet the experience isn't keeping him from returning to the open water. If anything, he says, he's taking it all in, appreciative for the beauty here. There's more life to be appreciative for than scared of by those sorts of situations. Well, despite the beach closure, there seems to be a lot of people just looking around here at Lover's Point. And this is what's really interesting. I was talking to someone from SIR, the emergency response team. They tell me in both incidents, things were very similar. It was about the same time of day right before or after noon on a Wednesday and the temperature very similar. Reporting from Pacific Grove, Veronica Macias, KION News Channel 46. Officials in Pacific Grove say its beaches will remain closed at least until Saturday.